For some professionals, connecting with peers and customers on social networks like Facebook or LinkedIn is part of the job. But for doctors who want to collaborate with other health care professionals or connect with patients, it's a different story. Joining us for a first on CNBC interview, Constantine Guerica is the co-founder of LinkedIn. Last month, he joined the board of directors at Doximity, another professional networking site dedicated to doctors and other medical experts. He joins us from San Jose. Uh, Constantine, good to have you with us. Good morning. Good morning, Kyle. I can only imagine the number of companies that are clamoring for them to have you on their board, and yet you choose to join Doximity. Explain what it is and why you were compelled to join the board. Well, Doximity is a way to connect doctors and allow them to collaborate, as you mentioned. And, um, you know, I'm looking to do meaningful things. And um, I think the, the healthcare issue is one of the defining challenges of our generation. And when you look just at medical errors, the fifth most common cause of death is doctor error, which often comes from miscommunication among doctors. And when you look at what doctors are doing and how they're communicating, it's still primarily by fax and pager. So I think there's some room for improvement. Yeah, I mean, obviously, doctors need to talk to each other in order to come up with better solutions, better diagnoses. But privacy concerns, uh, HIPAA, it makes it very squirrely when uh, you got patient confidentiality to worry about. How does Doximity enter that dynamic? Well, if you're a doctor and you want to use some of the more modern communication technologies, I mean, you could you could go on Facebook, but probably friending your patients is, is not something you want to do. Um, I'm not sure I want to see everything my doctor does. Um, and <laughs> and if I'm a psychiatrist and I, you know, I link to him, that's probably not what my friends want to see or I want to share. So, so you want a more professional contact. Of course, LinkedIn is... Uh, has professional profiles, but I think doctors from the ones I've spoken with on LinkedIn, they feel a bit like a fish out of the water. You know, it's all business there and doctors don't feel entirely comfortable there. They're mingling with lawyers and insurance agents and patients, so they want something more focused. And Doximity offers a HIPAA compliance solution and allows them to do their business, which is very different. For example, uh, referrals. Yeah. Often when I'm a primary care, care physician, I may need to find somebody who who knows about a certain tropical disease and who takes Anthem Blue Cross and you know I'm not going to find that information on LinkedIn. Constantine, curious uh, about revenue and uh, Doximity's philosophy on that. Is a premium service the way to go with something as sensitive as medical information? Do you let pharma in and kind of collect an advertising revenue stream? What do you do? I think there's various ways to go. Um, right now, the focus is just like it was on LinkedIn, with LinkedIn actually for, we didn't start revenues for the first couple of years. Uh, the key is to get the critical mass about in your audience, which at LinkedIn was professionals, in our case is doctors. Um, a year in, at Doximity, we already have 12% of all doctors in the US signed up. So that's a good start. I think it is a very valuable segment. They control a lot of money. So there are going to be various options, like you said. You could do a subscription, but certainly uh, farmers are always looking for ways to reach doctors. And also due to some new regulations, they can't really get into the doctor's offices very easily. So obviously you have to do this in a way that balances things out. But I think we're able to do that pretty well at LinkedIn. And I, I think with Doximity, there'll be plenty of options there. Well, LinkedIn, by the way, uh, $108.85 in case you're busy counting your money, uh, Constantine. <laughs> Appreciate your time. Please come back. All right. Thank you, Carl. Uh, Constantine Guerica, uh, the co-founder of LinkedIn, board member of Doximity.